half of the people have an agent, half of the people don't have an agent, and half of the people who have an agent are not happy with their agent. So it's like half an agent or it's not getting you and he's not or he or she is not giving you the work that you actually want to go out for. You're not getting access to those roles. They're not really getting you. So um, some of you have recently lost. I was in a conversation with someone on Facebook yesterday who recently lost their representation. So what do you do then? So I get that that is a problem, right? Because if you don't have an agent, you don't have access to the auditions. You don't have anyone hustling out there for you. So what do you have to do? You have to go out there yourself and you have to hustle for yourself. No one is negotiating your rate. So you're probably getting a poor rate. Um, it, it doesn't feel very professional when you don't have an agent. Sometimes it's the first question people will ask you, right? And they'll say, okay, so um, who's your agent or do you have an agent? And if you don't, straight away you feel like your worth just took a hit because if you don't have an agent, are you an actor, right? So it's really crucial to have um an agent because they will get you out they will negotiate for you they will give you access to the stuff that you want to have access to and um you'll book and you'll make money and you'll be an actor etc so it's it's i understand that it's really crucial and so i want to ask the guys who are now listening what are you doing when you don't have an agent um what are you trying to put in place in order to get the agent you want an agent that you can work with that totally gets you and what are you doing if you um, already have an agent and you want to find one what are you putting in place what are, the, what are the actions that you're taking in order to get an awesome agent that totally understands you that values your work that is totally in love with your talent and that's hitting on every door out there to get your foot in the room so what that is telling me is what I have actually discovered is happening to actors is that when they don't have an agent, um, they're kind of lost and don't know what to do, right? It's like, I don't have an agent, so I don't have access to any projects, so that's just the way it is, right? So I want to make sure that you realize that the reason you don't have an agent or the reason you don't have the awesome agent that could get you and that would knock on any door to get you in is because you don't have extraordinary material. So in order for you to get an agent, they need to be able to see what you can do and how great you are and your talent, right? And so I'm going to ask you this question. When you look at your material, when you look at your reel, are you 100% proud of it? Are you like, this is the best work I can do. I'm super proud of it. I can't wait for everyone to see it. I'm not ashamed to send it to any agent. I don't have excuses that go with it. Like, oh, this is my reel. It's not great, but really I I'm, I'm, haven't gotten any roles yet or I, I'm, I'm waiting for some footage or stuff like that. Maybe you don't have an extraordinary reel. And the reason that you don't have an extra or extraordinary reel, and I'm not judging you, right? I'm just taking, I'm just taking the standpoint or the point of view that you look at your reel and it's not as great as it could be. And that happens. That's okay. But I want you guys to move from away, away from the place of being a victim and being like, eh, I don't have a great reel and eh, I don't have an agent into an empowered place. When you know that, you can have all the say in how extraordinary your reel is. So what's going to end up being on, on that reel? You, your talent, your acting, how free you are, how extraordinary your instrument is, right? If your instrument is not extraordinary, if you're still dealing with some blocks, if you're still having some issues and some resistance with feeling sometimes not good enough and freezing and closing up on yourself, then your material will be a reflection of that. You will not be everything you can be. You will not be as authentic as you, as unique and as wonderful as you know you can be. And if you're not and you know that, there's no reason why an agent should sign you. There's no reason that an agent will fall in love with you, right? So 
what I want you to be uh, responsible for is the business you're putting out there. So let me take my favorite analogy. If I'm a baker in a world where there's a hundred million bakeries out around, if I want to start selling some bread and I don't come up with the best, most unique and extraordinary tasting bread, I will not sell breads, right? So I want you guys to have the same mindset. You're an actor, so you're selling your instrument, your talent. If your talent is not 100% what it can be because you still have resistance and blocks and fears preventing you from being totally present, from being totally in the moment, from being completely free, you cannot sell that because it's not the best thing that you have to offer. And there's a lot of people out there that do have bread that they can sell right now because it is unique, because it is the best that they can do. So going from a place of, Nyeh, I don't have a great reel, Nyeh, I don't have an agent, to a place where you can say, okay, I know that I don't have a great reel because my instrument is not completely free. I am not acting the exact way I know it's possible to act. And therefore, I'm going to be responsible for that. I'm going to take care of that. And if you feel there's power in that, put your name down on the wait list for the Instinctive Actor webinar and the Reset Journey because that's the exact work we're doing in there. We're making sure that if you're about to, or if you're currently into this business, you want to have the most extraordinary instrument that you can possibly have. And if it's full of resistance, I'm not judging it, I'm not criticizing it, most instruments are, well then you want to make sure that you take care of that. Because if you stay in a place where you're just looking for an agent because you don't have one, well, you're kind of trying to sell your bread before having any to sell. You're trying to make good business and good money at the end of the month, and yet you have a bread that you know is not really amazing. And those two things don't go together. So be responsible for what you have power over. Your basic foundation, your basic ingredient is you. Are you open, free, fully expressed, authentic? Are you the full version of yourself? If you're not, start there. Then you'll get the material and exactly, we, we give you the exact steps to take in the reset journey to get a killer reel, even if you have to write the scenes yourself. We give you tools to do that yourself. And then, and then you can send your material to agent. And then you'll feel purposeful when you knock at the door, when you pick up the phone, or when you send it, because you know you have something extraordinary to give instead of having to ask, please, will you represent me? Please, will you help me out? That puts you in a situation where you're under the agent and you're not. The agent and actors need each other. The agent needs talent that he can sell. And if you're positioning yourself under like, I need an agent and no one will sign me, or I have an agent that's not good enough and it's not getting me where I want to go, take responsibility for that. Make sure, hi Elena, make sure that your reel is a killer reel. So that when you knock doors, they're like, please, please, may I sign you? Because they know if you're that extraordinary, they will sell 